I call this watch your mouth. It has to do with the way people speak. I'm easily annoyed by people's speech habits, and I regard certain words and phrases as warnings to break off contact immediately. In the interest of maintaining good mental health, I try to avoid the following people. Those who can't resist saying, God forbid, every time they mention the possibility of an accident or death, even though they don't believe in God. People who say God rest his soul following the mention of a dead person, even if they hated the person and don't believe in God. These are the same ones who say knock wood and really mean it. Sometimes they'll even glance around half-heartedly for something to knock on before giving up and just standing there like the morons they are. And speaking of morons, can't we somehow prevent adults from using words like tushy, boo-boo, and no-no when speaking to grown-ups? Why don't we just send these people to their rooms without supper? Tell them there's not going to be any yummy in their tummy. And while we're at it, let's include all those colorful risk-takers who actually use heck and darn for emphasis. What the fuck is this, 1850? I also think we'd be better off if we could eliminate anyone who has a can-do attitude or is referred to as take charge, all business, or no nonsense. Have these people sedated. And let's include the ones who describe themselves as goal-oriented. Please, leave me alone. Then there's those people who tell you, I'm a people person. I'm a people person. Oh, yeah? Me too. Fuck people. And what about these guys who have no job and they say to you, are they keeping you busy? I happen to resent even the assumption that there are people who have the authority to keep me busy. Least of all do I appreciate it from some guy who doesn't seem to have a whole lot to do himself. And let's punish every homely man who ever thought it was clever to say, I'm not just another pretty face. And I think it's time to start slapping around these people who can't tell a simple story without repeatedly saying, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Here I am trying to listen to the guy, and he's a person who is constantly checking on how he's doing. Blah, 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 blah. You know what I'm saying? No, no. The question is not, do I know what you're saying? The question is, do you know what you're saying? You follow me on that? I'm also getting tired of arguably. It's weak. It tries to have things both ways. Take a stand. And here are some jock sports fan adjectives that ought to be outlawed. Listening to a sports call-in radio station for about an hour, you will be amazed at the number of times you hear the following words. Incredible. Unbelievable. Tremendous. Outstanding. Big, huge, it was huge, dude. Large, major, key. Do these guys sound like maybe someone's penis size is on their minds? I can also do without people who tell me that something, anything, is either the name of the game or what it's all about. That's what it's all about, man. That's what it's all about. Hey, that's the name of the game. How it is, huh? Well, fuck you. And let's lose these guys who think it's cute to say ouch when someone delivers a small put-down. There's another strain of speaker that I try to avoid, the pretentious and arrogant person, people who refer to themselves as yours truly. What kind of grandiose crap is this? Some of them even speak of themselves in the third person. Athletes and entertainers are big on this demented shit. I'm going to do what's right for Leon Spinks. I think people like this are mentally ill, and you can include those very special people who use the royal we. I also instantly dismiss anyone who tells me that some other person has class, is classy, or is a class act, the last of these being the most arrogant. What these speakers are telling you is that since they are among the few people who recognize class. It is their obligation to point it out to sorry-ass folks like you. If you manage to listen to them just a little longer, you'll find that they're completely full of shit. And this is the same type of person who uses the word tasty when referring to music. The previous reference to class is of the same order of arrogance as the phrases not too shabby, he's no dummy, I give him high marks, he's got his head on straight, and he really showed me something. All of these phrases reek of presumed superiority. And just when I thought all those precious twerps were about to stop saying not to worry and by the by, along came what say you, and at the end of the day to deepen my suffering. At the end of the day is probably the most pretentious expression to come along since the moi chow crowd descended on us. And just a tad has a phony ring to it. So does just a skosh.
Speak English. And be on the alert for anyone who tells you that something they did was life-affirming. Oh. Some celebrity said he quit doing his TV show because it stopped being life-affirming. Hey, Skeezix, when you finish affirming your life, get over here and give my dick a couple of jerks. And can't we figure out something evil to do to these people who call themselves survivors? Such self-regard. I'm a survivor. Good. We'll be sure to tell everyone at your funeral that you're a fucking survivor. And this one is almost too easy. Guys who can't leave a room without saying, I'm out of here. I'm out of here. You know what I say to them? Good. Stay the fuck out of here. There are also certain reckless people in this country who are abusing ongoing and early on. Leave these terms alone, please. They mark you as a counterfeit. Early on has faux poetic aspirations, and ongoing has only a very narrow area where it is distinctly appropriate. And some of these ongoing felons are the same ones who have vandalized the phrase, even as we speak. First, they shortened it to, as we speak. Then they started using it every four minutes or so. Even as I write this, my pissed offedness is ongoing. And fuck all the asshole people who say, God bless, and then don't bother to complete the sentence. Who are they? I haven't the slightest. But if I were God, I would not honor such a request. Anyway, enjoy.